finally found your number. So you are my brother's current girlfriend. And I know about how you went and gave my brother a new coat for his birthday. Wait, is this Jacob's little sister? He'd been telling me about how he had a little sister who happens to be years younger than him. That's me. I am my brother's cute little sister, Chloe. <laughs> and you are my brother's girlfriend, right? Well, nice to meet you, Chloe. My name's Danny, and yes, I am going out with your brother. Thank you for reaching out to me today. Huh? Do you think I want to be reaching out to you right now? You are nothing but a useless woman to my family and I, so of course I don't want to be talking with you right now. Uh, what? You're his girlfriend, and you gifted him a terrible-looking coat like that for his birthday? You've really gone and done it now. My brother has no reason to be wearing such an ugly coat as that. It doesn't even look good on him, so I made sure to cut it to frickin' shreds. <laughs> that whole coat is in tiny little pieces now and sitting at the bottom of our trash can outside. <laughs> what? You, you shredded that coat up? I made sure you couldn't even recognize that it was a coat. <laughs> See what happens when you give awful presents to your boyfriend? <laughs> That coat was part of a limited time collaboration of some of his favorite artists that he'd been wanting for so long now. And the price of that coat was insanely high. My brother already has a really good coat that he loves, and that's the one I gave him long ago. That's the only coat he needs. It looks wonderful on him. He has no need for your cruddy present, though, when you didn't put any thought into that coat to begin with. But, Chloe, did you really have to cut the coat up and throw it away? That was not okay of you, all right, Chloe? Huh? We have only just met, so don't you dare start calling me by my name. You really are the most audacious woman ever. What? Are we done here? Just because you've dated him for a few years doesn't mean you know everything about him like I do. I have been with my brother ever since I was born. I know every single detail that pertains to him. I know what suits him best, and I know what he needs and wants. And I'm the only one who knows all of that. Of course you've been around him a lot longer since you're both siblings with one another. And what made you think you could just start dating him without my permission in the first place? And then you went and gave him the ugliest present ever? Break up with my brother already, you freaking witch. My brother does not need any girlfriends. Danny, I'm so sorry about her. I know that she got a few texts from my little sister, right? And I'm sure you heard about what happened to the coat as well, right? Yeah, she went and shredded the whole coat before throwing it in the trash. Is that really true? Yeah, I just got back home from being at work and I was shocked to see what happened. I even went through all of the effort of installing a lock on my door and locking it daily. She ended up making a duplicate of that key and used it to get in. I never knew you had such a troublesome little sister, Jacob. You'd always mentioned having a little sister, but not someone like that. I didn't think she was too bad at first, but I think she is way too attached to me now. And it's not healthy. Else you can blame me in part for this, since I didn't try earlier to get her off my back. The fact that she is so in love with you, to the point she'd do something like that to a present from your girlfriend? I think she needs to see someone about that, and soon. Oh, you went through so much effort getting me that coat, so I'm really sorry for what she's done. Not to tell you the truth, her being so attached to me has really been driving me more and more nuts lately. That's why I went and installed the lock on my door and everything. Is she really that bad each and every day? I was thinking that by locking her out of my room, she'd quiet down a bit. But honestly, it's only made her more sneaky. Back before I put that lock on, though, things are so much worse outright. She'd go into my room when I wasn't around and look at all my schedules and memorize them. And whenever I'd get a girlfriend, she'd try to find out about them right away and start to bully them. Because of that, I've been through so many breakups that it's not even funny. So she really isn't going to let you go without a fight? I oh, know. At first I thought she was just attached to me on a playful level, but things have only gotten more scary. Every time I have another woman around me, she just loses it and goes haywire. She'll sit outside my room sometimes, screaming about how I can have another girl in my life when I already have her. Dang. The first time something like this started to happen, I chewed her out for it. But every time, she only got worse and worse, and I've become so tired and complacent. Like over and over again, I'd find myself someone new, and then when my sister found out, she'd attack. Doing things to the girls I love behind my back, to the point they'd leave me without even saying a word. 
That's why I've been through seven girls now and all of them have dumped me. Things have been really tough for you then. That's why I was trying so hard this time to keep you a secret from her. I even told my parents and everyone to keep you a secret from her. Yet out of nowhere, she was able to find out. So that's the reason why you never invited me over to your parents' house to hang out? I thought it was kind of wild that every time we went on dates, you were asking for us to go outside the town you're living in. Well, I didn't want Chloe to find anything out about you, so I had to keep you far away. I promised to go have a word with her this time so that she won't bother you any more than she already has. So please, just please don't break up with me just yet. Don't worry, Jacob. I would never break up with you over something you can't really control. You sure? Of course I am. But about this mess we have on our hands, we can either keep on dating one another like nothing's even happened, or we can break up for a little bit in order to get her off my tail. Well, since she's going to be a major problem, I'll just tell her you left me and that should settle her down. I'll make sure she believes that. Well, I'll leave all that up to you then, and we can continue to date in secrecy. Just make sure to let me know if anything crazy happens. You really did a number on me with that punch to my face, didn't you? I had to get six stitches to fix that gash. This is the first time I've ever had to get stitches. What? You're still alive after all that? Hey, who the hell do you think you are acting like I'm dead? I may have been bleeding a lot at the time, but the cut was not as big as you think. But, but I saw all that blood coming out of you and I thought it was the end. That's because you literally punched me in the head with all your weight and caused a deep gash. I never thought that you'd come up from behind me like that though and punch me. I was just trying to talk with your parents about our marriage and the next thing I know, I'm in the hospital having my face stitched up. What the hell were you thinking, Chloe? I, I had no other choice but to do that to you. I had just come home from my part-time job and you were standing in my house. I was told before that you and my brother had broken up, yet you were there talking with my parents about how you'd become my brother's wife? What is all of that about? That all got my blood boiling in seconds, and before I knew it, you were on the ground. My body knew punching you like that was the right thing to do. Huh? Now, you tell me right now what's going on here. Why did you come to my parents' house to talk with my parents about marrying my brother? You should have broken up with my brother a year ago. I'm sorry, but your brother and I faked a breakup in order to continue dating in secrecy. We had hidden our relationship to one another from you for a while now, and things really started to set in. What was that? And then I was proposed to by your brother, and we were engaged. Today, you weren't supposed to be home, and that's why I aimed to come over and have a talk with your parents. However, you came back home unexpectedly and then punched me right in the head. The store I've been working at had to close for the day. The fridge in the kitchen had broken, so all of the food we were going to sell had gone bad. That's why I had to come home. And when I opened the front door, I had to see the woman my brother should have left a year ago talking about marrying my brother. Then this was all a terrible coincidence. Had your store's fridge not broken, then all those talks could have taken place and Jacob and I could be happy. Sh shut up! I didn't think that much blood would come out of your head like that. I was just punching you in the head with my bag in hand, that's all. But it just so happened that I had my battery pack in my bag and that hit you the hardest. Yet just from that, you chose to let all of that blood flow out of your head. Wait, what? You're blaming me now for the amount of blood that came out of my head? I was knocked out by that punch and don't even remember hitting the ground. Chloe, I hope you understand that what you did to me was assault, right? You just committed a crime. Are you aware of that? I, I guess that is the case, isn't it? After you had to be taken away by the EMTs, my parents started to really dig into me with all their yelling, and I was freaking out over the amount of blood that came out of you. But you're going to forgive me for all of that, right? I happen to be the most important thing to my brother, after all. Excuse me? Six stitches in the head isn't all that bad. You and my brother hiding your relationship from me is far worse than me punching you. So let's just agree that we're even now. I'm not going to apologize for what I did, and you don't have to either. You're kidding, right? You sent me to the hospital, yet you're not going to apologize for any of this? If I have to apologize to you, then you have to apologize as well. You were keeping a lie from me the whole time. 
I want you to come to me and get on your hands and knees and apologize. Tell me that you're sorry for making me punch you and that you'll never do something like that to me again. So it really does seem that you have no idea what you're in for yet. Let me just say this one last time. I am the victim to a case of assault, and you are the one who committed that assault. If I go to the police right now about this and tell them what happened, you will most likely be arrested and taken away. Do you understand? Then you would no longer be able to attend university anymore. And as for that company you plan to join, they will refuse you. What? I've heard all about you, Chloe, from your own family. You want to go and work together with your brother for whom you love so much. And that's why you've put so much effort into studying and getting your grades up. Then you were able to go and have an interview with the same company as your brother, and they gave you an offer to join them when you graduate, right? Uh, are you trying to threaten me now? I'm not threatening you because I will not be the one carrying all this out. I'm just telling you the facts, and that's it. What you did to me is a crime, a big one. Yet you haven't even bothered to say sorry for any of it instead of asking me to come and apologize to you. I'd shut up with all that BS you keep saying and start to get a grip on the position that you're in. But, but wait, you would never normally just call the police over something like this, right? I'm the little sister after all. If I were to be arrested by the police and taken to jail, you'd be making my brother very sad. Do you really think it's okay to make the man you like sad? I will most likely be telling the police because you don't seem to quite get what you've done here. And the funny thing is, I don't think your brother would care about me having you arrested. What? So, since it's pretty obvious you just don't understand anything going on right now, I'm going to have to talk with the police. I'll let them know that you attacked me, and then you can say goodbye to your graduation and that job you were offered. This is something that has to happen, or else you will never be able to learn that you cannot act like such a dang child. Wait, wait a second! Are you... Are you really being serious right now? I'm your fiance's little sister, yet you're going to call the police on me? Do you have any idea how hard I've worked to make it through school and land that job offer I've been given? And do you have any idea how badly you've gone and injured me today? I was punched in the side of the forehead pretty much, giving me a deep gash and causing me to become concussed. I was out for about two minutes as well and was afraid that whole time I had to ride in the ambulance to the hospital. Don't just think that because you're my fiance's little sister, you can get away with anything you want. I, I get it, all right? Since you won't stop whining about everything, I'll be kind and let you marry my brother. That should make you happy, right? Huh? I'll let you marry my brother and become his wife, so forgive me now. You'll become my older sister then, and you can't call the police on your own family. It's too bad I don't have a little sister anymore, though. What? It's people like you. When the hell are you going to learn that you can't keep acting like a bitch? Danny was being so kind just then, trying to get you to understand the predicament you're in, all while she's in the hospital and concussed. Uh, what? Is... is that you, Jacob? Yeah, your older brother that you love way too much. And now has some very important stuff to tell you, Clay. Starting today, you're no longer my little sister, as I'm cutting ties to you now. Don't call me your brother anymore, because I'm not. You're not even family to me anymore, and maybe not even to mum or dad anymore either. What? Wait, wait, what are you saying? You, you never cut ties to someone like me, right? Why would you even say something so scary then? Because you've done something horrifying to my fiancé. You just attacked the most important person in my life, who I love so much, and sent her to the hospital. You're overreacting, Jacob. She only needed to get six stitches. I know there was a lot of blood, but even she said the gash wasn't that large. You're still going on about the blood? You want to know why there was so much blood for a small gash? Because she fractured her skull. What would have happened if you hit her a little bit closer to her eye? How would you take responsibility for causing one of her eyes to go blind? Would you even be able to do anything to gain our forgiveness at that point? Uh... Um... After something as bad as this, I won't be surprised if there are lasting effects. I'm sure she's going to have some lasting brain trauma from her concussion and the skull fracture. All Danny did was go out with me and say yes to my proposal. Yet she had to pay for that, with six stitches, a fractured skull, and a bad concussion. Have you seriously not realised yet just what the hell you did to my fiancé? 
J- Jacob! Danny is my fiance and will someday be my wife. I will not allow someone to hurt her and still think they can be part of my family. That's why I'm cutting ties to you, and you have no damn excuses for complaining about the choice I've made. But, but Jacob, you're also to blame for hiding your relationship to her from me. I know I made a mistake punching her like that, but that all happened because of you. What the hell did you just mutter? You lied to me about breaking up with her. That's why when I saw her in the house, I was shocked and thought she was breaking in. I, I didn't do anything wrong for trying to protect the family. I see. So that's how things are going to be then, hmm? Oh, I get it, Chloe. No matter how much my fiancé and I try to help you, you're not having any of it. And are going to continue blaming Danny and I until the day you die, right? Th- that's right. Well, that's why we just have to say sorry to one another and things will be over with, okay? Then we can go back to being brother and sister. No, I'm done with you. What? I'm sad to have to say goodbye to my only sibling, ever. So this sadness will be my punishment for hiding Danny from you. If you want for us both to be blamed for doing bad things, then we both need to be punished and cut ties to one another. No no way, Jacob. Now with all of that said, never freaking talk to me or Danny ever again. And don't worry about me being around mum and dad's house, because with this marriage, I'm leaving. Also, as long as you're in that house, I will not be coming back to mum and dad. Wait, wait, Jacob, I don't want this. I don't want to cut ties to you. I don't want my brother leaving me. I'm not your damn brother. So don't you ever, and I mean ever, call me your brother again. Please forgive me. I will apologize over and over again if you want, on my hands and knees even. Please just don't tell the police about this. And please help me get my brother back so that he doesn't have to leave me. Shut the hell up. I'm going to the police with all of this once I'm out of this hospital bed. Even your parents are telling me to have the police come and get you for what you've done. No, they're not! Also, I like the idea of cutting ties to you. After all, I don't want to live in fear that my own sister-in-law could one day come and kill me for no reason. So forget about me helping you with anything. I promise to never punch you ever again! Actually, that was the first time I've ever punched someone in my whole entire life. I just blanked out, and the next thing I knew, I was punching you in the head. That's all that happened then. That's never happened to me before and will never happen again, as long as I don't get that upset. I wonder if that really was your first time. You didn't even make a sound coming up behind me like that. And the form with which you punched me seemed very well practiced, or so Jacob has said. I don't think that was your first time at all, but I guess we'll find out for sure later. What are you going on about? Do you really think that I've gone and punched other people like that before? For example, one of Jacob's ex-girlfriends. From what he's told me, you're the reason for each and every one of his breakups. He told me that you were doing all kinds of things to them behind his back. So perhaps you've done the same things to them that you did to me this time. I would never do something so scary to them. I don't care how much you all think I'm crazy in love with Jacob. I would never hurt anyone else. I'm a weak and cute little girl. This was seriously my first time ever punching someone. I promise you that I'm not lying. So you really aren't lying to me about any of that? Well then, I wonder what this nice woman in front of my eyes right now is talking about. What? What are you talking about? Who? I actually just found out this morning that one of Jacob's ex-girlfriends is working at this hospital as a nurse. What? And, well, she came to my room to talk with me this morning. She heard about what happened to me and came to say that she too was punched in the head by you back when she was with Jacob. But she didn't want to cause any drama, so she left Jacob without saying a thing. That that woman is lying to you! I have never punched any of Jacob's ex-girlfriends at night before! What? I don't know why you're bringing up the time of day it happened. What? But that kind of lines up with the story this nurse told me. She said she was walking home in the middle of the night when someone your size came up and punched her. And before you ran off again, you told her, break up with my brother right now. So after she got up off the pavement, she made sure to text Jacob and broke up with him. Uh, um, hold on. She then went to one of her friends who had also dated Jacob before and they all started to talk about how much you'd hurt all of them. Kind of like a therapy group of sorts. They wanted to help one another understand what had happened to them and Jacob and why things had to end up with you the way they did. 
Crazy that you tell me I was your first victim when it seems there are plenty of others out there. You were just saying that you promised me you had never punched anyone before, and that turned out to be a lie. Uh, wait, um, well, that was, um... Since this isn't the first time you've assaulted someone, I'm sure the investigation into you by the police will help uncover all the details. And once you are taken to court by not only myself, but this friendly nurse I was just with, we'll see what happens to you graduating from college and working with Jacob. No, you can't! Well then, I need to go and have another word with Jacob. He deserves to know what happened to his exes. After all, he's a victim of your abuse as well, so he's going to find some relief in hearing this. No, 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 no! I'm asking you to please not tell my brother anymore! I don't want my brother being taken away from me! I never have, so I can't be blamed for becoming so jealous whenever he'd make a new girlfriend! I promise that I will never do anything again to you, so please keep quiet about this! I don't want to be hated by him any more than I already am! Sorry that I'm not like the rest of Jacob's exes and didn't just run away when you started to attack me. Now I hope you have a safe ride to the police station in a bit here. And while you're in jail for what you've done to me and this other woman, Jacob and I will be having our wedding and getting married. <laughs> After that, the police arrived at Jacob's parents' house and arrested Chloe for two cases of assault and she was booked at the county jail. There she had to await her trial and when the time came, the judge told her she'd stay in jail for another three years and would have to pay out settlements to me and three other girls. A lot of those women had shown up on the day of the court hearing, and they all forgave her after she was taken away by the police back to jail. But I was not going to forgive her and made that clear by telling my lawyer to get every penny out of her that he could in the settlement. After all of that, Jacob and I made sure to use the next three years to our advantage and had a wedding and everything while Chloe was locked away. And so far, things as a married couple have gone better than we could have ever imagined. We also chose to change jobs and moved out of the state, so that if the time did come that Chloe wanted to come and find us, she would never be able to.